Hello, in this video we're going to prove the theorem which connects the dot product to the angle between two vectors. So we've got vectors a and b and in our theorem we say that a dot b equals the length of a times the length of b times cosine of theta where theta is the angle between a and b. So I'm going to label the end point of vector a with a capital A and I'm going to label the origin with a big O and the end point of vector B as a capital B and then I'm going to look at the vector which goes from B to A. Okay, So we'll label that right here and we would call that vector, this is actually A minus B. Okay. So let's prove this theorem. We're going to prove the theorem by using law of cosines. So let's recall the law of cosines. Now the law of cosines is used for all sorts of triangles. You don't necessarily need a right triangle, right? That's our Pythagorean theorem where we need a right triangle. Law of cosines works for uh, a wide variety of triangles. So we can use that here. We have no idea what theta is. So this is a really good choice to use for this proof. Now what the law of cosines does is it connects the sides of the triangle to a particular angle. In this case, we're interested in theta. Okay, so what law of cosine says is it says that the length of the side opposite the angle, so I'll call that the length of side AB, so that length squared equals the length of the other sides, so we'll call this other side the length OB squared plus OA squared. minus 2 OB times OA, the length of OA times OB times cosine of theta. Okay, so that's just our law of cosines. Now let's recall what is the length of AB. So by properties of the dot product and this is actually property one of our long list of dot product properties. This length AB, the length of AB, just equals the length of A minus B, which is equal to A minus B dot A minus B. Okay, And we could do a similar procedure replacing the length of OB and the length of OA and so forth. So let's go through and do that. Okay, so on the left hand side we're going to have this difference of vectors a minus b dot a minus b. If we work that out, that is a dot a minus b dot a minus a dot b minus, that's another one, it's plus b dot b. And this is by property uh, excuse me, property 3 of the dot product. And then if we tidy that up a bit, we're going to get just the magnitude of a squared minus 2a dot b plus the magnitude of b squared. So that's our left hand side. Okay, so that's going to be our left side of the equation. And as I said, we can also go through and replace these other lengths, so let's do that. So on our left hand side, now we have the magnitude of a squared minus 2a dot b plus the length of b squared. And let's replace the length of 
OB, well the length of OB is just the magnitude of B squared and the length of OA, right, that's just the magnitude of vector A squared minus 2 length of A times length of B times cosine of theta. So let's see what we can cancel out here. Well, the length of A squared and length of B squared, so those go away, and certainly we could divide both sides by a negative 2. So what we're left with on the left-hand side is A dot B, and on the right-hand side, length of A times the length of B times cosine theta, and that proves the claim.